Pamela, we knew Cassie when she was a little girl. <laughs> too bad Lionel didn't put Warren and Lakin in the orphanage, too. Well, how could I expect you to know how she got to wherever she got to? Cassie lived with us, Pamela. I know that. That's why I'm telling you. I think it's very cruel to let a woman know who lost her parents that you think you know who they are. <laughs> she didn't lose them. She knows perfectly well who they are. Oh, my God, look at her. What the hell? You're satisfied now. Pamela, get a grip on yourself. Why are you always saying those things to me? Mason, make them believe me. Maybe Lionel has another child in the cellar, too, or the closet, or maybe in the garden playing with black widows, Pamela. Lionel is not the father. Oh, good God, Pamela, make up your mind. <laughs> She's Lionel's half-sister. Half-sister! Minx is her mother. This is even better. I know Cassandra's father real well. Well, then maybe you're her mother. Who knows? Get out of the... Emma, get away from her. Okay. Now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you call for dinner? No. Bring Pamela's coat. Just one thing first. Ask her to deny it. Deny what, Mason? About Minx. Ask her. I will not. Mason, you must know that Pamela's not well. Then ask Minx. She won't deny it. At least she didn't to me. This is a new ploy, Mason. I don't understand the reason for it. No one does. Do they, Mason? I will not allow my mother to be called a liar. You goaded her. You made her say it. Is it true? You know it is. Well, I thought it would be very important that you, you know, that... Was, I thought it would be very important. Well, if I'm to be a trusted member of the Shut family... Shut her up. You are my family. You are the family that I dreamed of when I had no one. And you took me in when I was a little girl, and now you've taken me in again. What difference does this make? How long have you known? A few weeks. How many months? Why didn't you tell us? Because I didn't think it would be that important. I shouldn't have been important enough not to have told us. I didn't ask to be Minx Lockridge's daughter. Of course you didn't. Who would? But you can't blame us for wishing that you would explain. Explain? You expect me to stand here and apologize for the way that I came into the world, for the woman that gave birth to me? I had nothing to do with it. My God, Cece, tell me that you understand that. Tell me that it doesn't matter. Did we have some understanding that I was only acceptable to you as long as the people that I came from were faceless and penniless and gone? Does anyone else have a feeling of deja vu of the dead? Had Channing lived, he'd be your mirror image. An almost son and almost daughter. Both favorites of the Emperor. Both Trojan horses from the enemy camp. Cece, there's a state policeman here and a man from Atascadero. The hospital there? He says you're expecting him. That's right. Put on your coat, Pamela. We can't keep the nice doctor waiting. <laughs> 